Good day. In today's video, I do one of those Hunger Games simulation things on Brant Steel Hunger Games Simulator. You know, the ones where you can make like custom districts and different events that can happen and stuff. Basically, I do one of them, but it's Etheria themed. Also, thank you to Diamond for setting all this up for me because I didn't make any of this. He set up all the districts and the custom events and stuff. So thanks a lot, Diamond, for giving me free content. Okay, we have the districts. Okay, in District 1, we have me, Diamond, Wolfgang, and Cookie. In District 2, we have Chex, Cole the character, Timmy, and Ugly Poe. In District 3, we have Golspur, Rhinoclops, Roxel, and Magnetron. In District 4, we have Baguka, Maviki, Gurion, and Gaia. In District 5, we have Kangarati, Umbris, Lockspectra, and Scrimra. In District 6, we have Faravil, Scarims, Igniteiron, and Magmantle. In District 7, we have Detonate, Sekton, Floorfluff, and Malchion. In District 8, we have Atlantitan, Golden, Alcair, and Chromite. In District 9, we have Daladu, Aizhen. Botanica and Tesla. In District 10, we have Phytotime, Stinkferno, Kanukama, and Valatine. In District 11, we have Ramuda, Savagor, Catalibre, and Vuligan. And in District 12, we have Promago, Cocolossus, Galvan, and Bascurus. Is this every Ethereum? It might be every Ethereum. So, how do I start this? Oh, proceed. Maybe I press that. Let's see. Players meet in the town for the games to begin. Phytotitan, please. <laughs> <laughs> The confident diamond successfully escapes the town unharmed. Chex successfully escapes the town unharmed. Wolfgang kills a land titan using splash. What? Wow, that must have been a powerful splash. Cookie successfully escapes the town unharmed. Good job, Cookie. Bascurus looks in a general shop but realizes she is too poor to buy any of the items anyways. Wow. Ignite Titan nah. eats Radatron. Jesus Christ. Why is there so much consumption going on? Cole literally whiffs on five shotgun. And <laughs> she takes life. What the hell? Cole, where did you get that from? A Valakard sneak attacks Gaia while she was learning new moves, <gasps> killing Gaia. No, Gaia! No! Umbris <gasps> dies. <laughs> <laughs> Umbris dies of Ligma. I successfully escaped the town unharmed. Gerims escapes through the magic hat but ends up in the lava in the Vulcan depths and dies. Day 1. Pramuda pushes a Valakard off the lighthouse but she lands in the water and survives. No! Dingferno drowns trying to swim across the ocean to escape Valkas. Detonate pushes Chromite off the lighthouse killing her. No! Chromite! Broxel farts cutely. <laughs> What? Phyto Titan falls through a hole in the map and it's the back room. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Checks Kangarati and Golven track down and kill Maviki. What the hell? Eleven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Malshan, District 7. Atlantite and District 8. Radatron, District 3. Tesline, District 9. Gaius, District 4. Umbris, District 5. Gerahim's District 6. Stinkferno, District 10. Chromite District 8, Phyto Titan District 10, and Mabiki from District 4. That is a lot of deaths. Night 1. Spectrability stuff farts cutely. Promego tracks down and kills Maguka. Damn. Sekton puts Scrimra to sleep and kills her. Wow, savage. Jax hopes the confident diamond dies soon. What the hell, Chex? Wolfgang accidentally knocks down a Stinkferno hive and is stuck to death. No, Wolfgang! No! Ignite Titan wishes he could be. What? Day 2. The Tonate has an existential crisis as he stares out into the ocean. Ugly Poe fights cutely. What? Stop, stop, stop! Cryoclops, Golven, and the Confident Diamond roleplay together, but they forget it's a PvP server, <laughs> so Cryoclops accidentally kills Golven. <laughs> Florafrost steps on an Aralon orb in the Whistleborough Cave and is killed. No, Flora of Love! Alcare puts Kangarati to sleep and kills him. Daladoodle falls through a hole in the map into the back room, never to be seen again. No! No! Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Maguka, Scrimra, Wolfgang, Golven, Florafluff, Kangarati, and Daladoodle. Night 2. The Toadnet complains about losing his Ethereum <laughs> during the reverse. <laughs> That's so true! Cole attacks Goldspur, but he manages to escape. Spectability stuff is spooked to death while wandering spirits in the power plant. No! Due to its dense fog, Primal trips and drowns in the Mugwood Swamp. What? Savagor leaves to play Lumion Legacy. Wow. Day 3. Cole drinks a tea. What? Why? <laughs> you fucked. <laughs> Very accurate. 
Broxel convinces Lennon to paint him in disguise. Chromago paralyzes Avalokard. Avalokard likes it. No! Tecton commits tax evasion. Okay. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Spectrability stuff, Cryoclops, and Savagore. Rest in peace, me. Night 3. Favil buries his fallen comrades in the graveyard. <laughs> that's that's sad. Galvan screams for help. Magmatal cries herself to sleep. Well, why? Ignite Titan breaks into someone's house in the town and sleeps there for the night. Cookie puts Jax to sleep and kills him. Jesus Christ, Cookie. Day 4. Ijane challenges the Confident Diamond to a private match. Timmy and Chromago spectate it. Confident Diamond wins, killing Ijane. Yes! Cocolossus makes food using a salad blender. <laughs> Cookie climbs the lighthouse to take a look around. Cookie, don't do that, it's dangerous. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Chex from District 2 and Ijane from District 9. No, Jax! Night 4. Sekton hates existence. Galvant kills Goldspell with metal tongs, which can be found in the power plant. Thank you for telling me where to find the metal tongs, Diamond. The confident Diamond and Kokolos' kiss. What? <laughs> Vascaris starts singing a Five Nights of Freddy song. <laughs> Day 5. Farvel puts Log Spectra to sleep but spares him. Dorian catches Broxel off guard and kills him. No, Broxel, no! Mulligan eats no. Cactalibre, what the hell? Bascuras grows cactus flowers. I'm guessing in memory of Cactalibre. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Goldspur, District 3. Broxel, District 3. Cactalibre, District 11. And I've just noticed that there's no one left in District 3 anymore. But District 12 is still completely full. Night 5. Guin accidentally knocks down a Stingferno hive and is stung to death. Oh my god. To donate reveals to Botanicat that he's into animals. Oh my god. Kramuda literally whips out five shotguns and she's cooking! No! What the hell? No! Day 6. Tramuda steals bread from the baker's corner. He's gonna have a cheese sandwich. Tecton saves Magmantle a friend request and Magmantle declines it. <laughs> Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Green and Cookie. No, Cookie. Night 6. Bravo hates existence. Log Spectra waits for tournament mode to be added. Well, you're gonna be waiting a while there, mate. Galvan cries himself to sleep. What? Day 7. Ignite Titan kills Faravil with an axe he found on the top of the axe tree. No, Faravil! Botanicat kills the Goblin and Diamond using Tackle! No, Diamond! All three of us are gone now. Sekton challenges Magmantle to a private match. Magmantle wins, killing Sekton. L. Ugly Post snipes Biscurus from across the map and kills her. Oh no! Oh no! And Gold drinks a teep again. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Faravil, District 6. The Confident Diamond, District 1, Sekton, District 7, and Bascuras, District 12. So our district is completely out, District 3 is completely out, so is District 4, and District 12 finally has a dead person in it. Night 7. Kokolosses kills Tanukama using Hyperbeam. Cole develops a God Complex. You are God, Cole. Selling has been replenished. Players now have the ability to sell more of their items in exchange for food, weapons, and other supplies at the town. Ooh, okay. Alcair decides not to go back to the town. Log Spectra and Ignitine fight over a barrel, Ignite Titan loses and is killed, L. Agipo leaves to play Lumi Legacy, what? You traitor. Detonate decides not to go back to the town, Timmy decides not to go back to the town, Hokolossus decides not to go back to the town, Magmantle buys bug-eyed goggles, Galvan literally whips out five shotguns and shoots Cole. You killed God! Muligan kills Botanicat using Tackle. Valakar decides not to go back in the town. Bermuda decides not to go back in the town. And Chromago decides not to go back in the town. Day 8. Muligan falls through a hole in the map and into the back rooms never to be seen again. Kokolossus challenges Galvant to a private match. Kokolossus wins, killing Galvant. Detonate falls down the giant hole in the frosted village and dies. Like seriously, put a fence around it or something. Oh my god. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Hanukama, District 10. Ignite Titan, District 6. Ugly Poe, District 2. Cole, District 2. Botanicat, District 9. 
Mulligan District 11, Galvant District 12, and Detonate District 7. Night 8. Magmantle gets crushed by a stampede of 30 to 50 feral swine answers. Oh my god. A Valakar tries to attack Alcare with extreme speed, but she misses and rams into a brick wall of full force instead, killing her. Yes! A Valakar is dead! Yes! Cocolossus is pricked to death by a cactus. What a way to go. Day 9. Alcare kills Chromego while he is AFK. Tim he buries his fallen comrades in the graveyard. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Magmantle, Avalucard, Ocolossus, and Chromago. Night 9. Log Spectra complains about losing his Ethereans during the Reap Mapster update. Timmy silently snaps Valka's <laughs> neck. Jesus Christ. Tremuda goes to sleep. Day 10. Timmy kills Log Spectra using Tackle. You don't even have Tackle! Tremuda is pricked to death by a Cactus. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Alcare, District 8. Log Spectra District 5 and Fremuda District 11. And Timmy is the winner from District 2. Oh my god, this little annoying child won the Hunger Games. <laughs>